I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to Fragments of Him. We just saw Little Will growing up. Diana's scene with Mystery Man. Oh, is that back from when everything was about Princess Diana? I was very young when that whole ordeal happened. I, uh... You got your Bible, you got jewels, Rebecca. What's going on? Is that Will? Yep. You got Will, you got G bombs. Don't know who that is. Mrs. No Face. I remember the family visiting me when Will was a teenager. There's a song by Al Martino. Here in my heart. That was playing when Robert first kissed me. I listen to it when I'm alone sometimes. Sentimental g -moms. I like to go down to Brighton, to the seaside. And I would buy a new glass animal every time I went there, collecting them. Everyone should have a hobby, I think. Spooky mask. I went to visit family in New Zealand after James left home. It was a very long trip. I could only make it once. It's such a shame to be so distant from family. The Y in font bugs the crap out of me. It's like nothing like any of the other letters. I don't know how to describe it. But... This just makes me think, my grandparents have like their, their basement is like straight from the 70s. Like it, um, there's like this fuzzy stuff on half, like the lower half of the wall here. And there's like these orange and white stripes. It looks... It looks very like grandma and grandpa's basement, put it that way. My husband Robert was a writer. Sadly, he died before Will really knew him. He could have gone far if he'd applied himself a bit more. Newspaper. We were all waiting back then for Diana to divorce Charles. It had been such a scandal after that television interview that she did. I generally don't know about that scandal. I don't I don't like any famous people in particular, but uh, royalty is extra bleh. Ugh. Us old people still think about these things, but no one was saying much. <laughs> so I started a conversation. I see that Diana is in the news again. It seems like she's never out of it these days. It's about time she stopped keeping everyone waiting. Mm -hmm. I think it's sad. She was bullied into all of this from the beginning. I... I could have handled the rest of the conversation. Oh no, G-Moms, please. I lost my temper a bit. I told you before that Sharon is American. She didn't say anything, which was probably a blessing, really. James took Will's side on it all. He always would be difficult in those kinds of things. I wish I hadn't even tried. Oop, they didn't want to hear my views. I said that I was going to make some tea. No one offered to help. Why am I taller? Hi, G-Moms. Oh, because I sat up? Or she sat up? I'm just going to go make some tea and be angry. Is that what Brits do when they're angry? They just go make tea? Is this, can anyone confirm? Fancy. These people love their spices. I usually just make do with salt, pepper, and... Um, I usually, my, mo my most commonly used spice is probably just some crushed red pepper. I have a few other things, but I don't intend to go crazy. I felt patronized. I don't think they really wanted tea. I didn't really want it either, but I didn't want to stay in there. I suppose all this seems like a strange thing to remember, but it was a sad day for me. I didn't have any choice in my time, but I had a quiet life. It was good enough. I wish Will understood that you've got to fit in to get along in life. Psh. 
These days it's easier to be different, to forge your own path or something like that, and everyone else be damned. Heck yeah! James and Sharon were both adults, but Will... I was scared for him. He had all these views about things. And it was dangerous. It's dangerous to have I opinions. I was scared for Will. I didn't want him to stand out and end up worse off. That's the way to get through life. You gotta have no opinions. That's the way everybody will like you. I let the tea brew. <laughs> and I found myself crying. Standing in the kitchen like a silly old what's it. He was going to go off with views like that and get in trouble, and I couldn't do a thing. This would probably hit a bit harder if I knew what the whole Diana situation I was. I knew something had been broken that day between Will and I. Oh, gee, moms. This is why you never discuss politics with your family, because you, if you find something out, it will probably be bad. I took a deep breath and pulled myself together. It's not the dumb thing to let others see you get upset. People sure do love their scandals. That's Everybody loves to watch some real news drama. Why don't they just watch like I Game of Thrones myself. or something? I always have done since Robert went. I had felt this was acceptable until then. Feeling distant from your family is the most awful thing. It's the strangest feeling of mourning. In a way, fortunately, I've always been pretty distant from most of my family other than my immediate parents and sister, obviously. Um, and the grandparents on my mother's side, one on my father's side, I think they were in Arizona for a while and they passed away a few years ago. And, uh, most of the extended family is, uh, eh, we don't get along with them too well. And fortunately we don't really need to. And there's a few aunts and uncles we're alright with, but, uh, I never felt super attached to family. Unless they, you know, actually did something in our life, with which most of them, you know, didn't. I know I'm from a different generation with different values, but I don't think they're all wrong. I'll put up a Christmas tree. I wasn't prepared to accept that Will wasn't going to talk to me anymore. You can't accept it, really, when you see someone you love putting their future at risk. All these free ideas about people choosing their own way to live. He would understand later. But how much later? What damage might he do to his life before he saw that you need to fit in to get along? <laughs> I was nervous about that Christmas. We hadn't been close for a while. Oh, fancy. Looks like my parents probably had some of these thoughts about themselves. I was... I was a fussy kid. I was, uh... Yeah. Pretty much grown out of all... Well, I'm fussy, but not in that kind of way. I was just kind of a jerk as a kid, and I wouldn't say... Pretty much anything I did as a kid really reflects too much on how I am now. I would say, until I was like, you know, 14 or so is when I started being, you I know, remember a Christmas after Will had gone to university. Whatever. But we were all coming back together for the holiday. I don't know why some people love to reminisce on, like, I like playing video games as a kid, but like, you know, most stuff was just dumb crap and I was just a kid and like unable to do any real things. It's and important to keep in touch with your friends. We didn't have the internet back then. I wish people still wrote letters. My grandparents still write letters. They, uh... They're about the only real mail that I get that is not, like... You know, um... 
Mostly ads, really. And packages, of course. Not sure if you consider that mail. I don't know how they keep get like, do they just send junk mail to everybody? Can they do that? Like, cause they, nothing seems to stop them. Like, I don't, I don't know if that's not like the way calling people is so they can just send their garbage to everybody. And what's the deal with phone books? Takes a lot of work, but I like to keep busy. Like, like how are phone books still a thing? Like, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of, you know, regulating everything away, but like, like you should have to opt in to a phone book. It is so wasteful. No one uses them. You should have to opt in to that crap. It is, it's a waste at every level. Like it's ridiculous that I have to keep getting those, and they just go right into the recycling. It is a complete waste of everything. Will was bringing a girlfriend, Sarah. I wanted the place to look perfect. Hello. Will's coming, Parker. Oh, she has hair. Unlike other family members. Oh, there's our faceless family members. Please. My family arrived just as the Christmas lunch was ready. It was perfect timing. Oh, it's like a freaking Christmas turducken. What is this? I guess it's carrots and little Brussels sprouts, I guess. I mentioned that Sharon took Will away for three years to America once, didn't I? Yes, I think I did. He was only ten. I missed so many important years. James is like his father, really. A wonderful boy. But I do wish he would apply himself more. It was lovely meeting Sarah. She was a little shy, I think. She said a little about what she was studying and how happy she was with it all. She made a very good impression. I was very worried about seeing Will. I wanted him to understand that when we disagreed, I didn't mean anything against him personally. I just wanted to keep him safe. Oh. Maybe conservative G-moms isn't too terrible after all. Will was growing up to be such a fine man. I would never have the patience to, to cook a turkey. I don't know how people do it. In fact, my parents don't even do that stuff. My, my grandparents are always the ones to... Uh, we don't have turkey for for Christmas either. I don't know what that is about. Is that a British thing? We usually have ham for Christmas, and it's turkey for uh, Thanksgiving, obviously. I guess Brits wouldn't have that excuse to eat turkey. That's like the one turkey... Per year that I think 95% of Americans eat. Well, I guess turkey for sandwiches is all right, but like a whole roast turkey. He like was that so is a lot of work. courteous and attentive. Thanks. Like a ham I could do, but turkey, there's so much you do. And it's also like, ugh. I like simple food. Eat all the foods. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, you're so fluffy. Yes. I felt so proud of Will. He was becoming the man I had hoped he would be. With Sarah, I hoped he would be on track to a normal life. But that was the last time I saw her. I knew that was coming. The twist. The twist that we kind of already know, but, uh... What you looking at, G-Moms? Alright. Next time, we will dive into whatever's next.